step into my office, and the printer's in the way of the door, so you gotta watch your step there. You know it's tough being uh, the king of a castle when you have these continuous dragon problems. And uh, dragon problems can be so annoying because dragons aren't very smart, let's face it. They always sort of like, ooh, ooh, I'm going to burn shit. Uh. And they don't really have a goal, do they? They just sort of go around randomly burning shit. Uh. Uh, I guess a dragon is like um, a goldfish in the sky. It's like a 12 second memory, but a pissed off goldfish. So it's like, uh, uh, I'm pissed off and I'm going to burn the village. I hate it in food courts sometimes when you're sort of walking by like this and you're like, oh, I'm just going to have a look at what is on offer, oh, okay. And they always put the pressure, don't they? They put the pressure on when you want to buy and they're like, oh, oh, hello, how are you today? Oh, and you're like, oh, I'm just, no, I'm, I'm not really interested in buying your, your lemon rice. Look, I just, uh, I've got a few other um, uh, dining places to look at. Yeah, you want to buy, you want to buy, you want to buy, oh, look, look what we got here. Now when I go to the food court, I have to use binoculars. Oh, what, what kind of meals are available here? And just so that they don't see me looking at the food, so they don't put the buying pressure on, you know, and it's just like, ooh. When you are in the market for a cup of coffee, always be careful to check the decibel rating on the back of the pack, because otherwise, and like uh, you'll see here, I bought, the, made a big mistake and I bought the loud coffee, so when I sip it, listen, it's Speed 3 is a new movie about a man trying to get home before the milk expires at midnight because it highlights the recession and the milk prices have skyrocketed. So, you know, he's trying to get home on his tractor and he's like, oh no, I better get to the milk before it goes off at midnight. Toilet paper adverts are quite puzzling because when you see them on TV, there's always sort of, it doesn't really get down to business, doesn't it? It doesn't show what the actual toilet paper is used for. You just have this fucking dog or something wrapped around it and it's just like well uh, what actually happens you know you're not really selling me the product are you and you know with razor blade adverts you know like Gillette and stuff you always see the shaving and like you know that it takes three strokes instead of one and all that but what about the toilet paper you know why can't they just say you know have someone on the toilet wiping their ass going oh it doesn't rip through and you don't get shit on your fingers you know then you would buy it because you're like oh good I don't want shit on my fingers do I and uh, it's quite interesting because if aliens, you know, intercepted our footage uh, from the toilet paper advert, they'd be like, what, what the fuck do they use it for? Is it some sort of a dog wrap or something?